my face on a billboard as in motorway vroom vroom beep beep i was on there hey <laughs> Hey guys, it's Vicky Shea, also known as TV Junior, also known as the teen, but formerly known as Emma. So today I'm going to be telling you the story of how I, little old me, managed to become a billboard model. As in, I saw my face on a billboard. As in, motorway, vroom vroom, beep beep, I was on there. Hey! Anyway, so we're going to go into like how I managed to get there and why I was on the billboard because I feel like some people know that people see my modern pictures and think oh my god you're so pretty da, da, da. but they don't know why I did it or how I managed to do it there's a reason why I was on there and I'm about to explain to you why so I was in the proud to be me campaign in 2018 for product embrace so how how I did it so my mum must have seen the ad she must have seen it on Facebook wherever she was and she decided to just apply for me but she didn't tell me she was applying on my behalf so imagine little old me was just happily going to college and minding my business mom's applying me to some big big things but i feel like the reason she probably didn't tell me was because um she probably didn't want to like dishearten me in case i didn't get it because obviously if i didn't get it i would have been like oh i didn't get it i could have been on a billboard i could have been a dna so i think my mum would have my mum just decided not to tell me that she was doing it the 12th of march 2018 we found out that i got picked that's when my mum told me oh yeah so by the way i applied you to this and you got picked i was like you applied me to what mommy why did it obviously my mum knew that i wouldn't i would have been like what no i'm too nervous i'm too shy mommy why but she done it I got in it so I was like okay so where do you go from here they invited us to the audition process because just because I got it like just because I got the audition it doesn't mean that I'm fully on the campaign yet so now it's time for the audition process so no one told me the date she was like on this day you're auditioning but I don't know why but it hadn't quite deeped what I was doing like my mom told me what it was she showed me like I think the campaign from the year before and I was like oh that's nice but I'd only seen I saw adults so I thought why would they pick me like so the next day was the 24th of March so I found on the 12th of March and on the 24th of March was when the audition was going to be taking place I had to have my hair natural but like, at the time I worked in Barbarito if so I couldn't have this afro. I worked with food. So my hair was in a ponytail, like an afro puff. So I was like, oh, I've got gel in my hair. Like, is this okay? So whatever, my hair. I can't remember exactly where it was. All I remember is I could see the BT tower and the oblong, like the egg. I don't know what it's called, like the oblong thing. Yeah. Anyway, I could see that quite close. So I knew I was near South London somewhere, but like South Central. And we were there early. We were like the first people there. The studio we had to wait at, um... They were recording a um a radio show, so we had to be quiet. Imagine like twelve o'clock. I saw. I said, "Mom, I'm hungry. I'm gonna get something to eat." So there was a cafe like next to it because it was like it doesn't know what this is. What it's called? It's like when there's a train track on top and they have like the arches, but they have like shops and things under the train track arches. Don't know what it's called, but yeah, that's where we. That's the type of place we were. So I saw a cafe coming. I went to the cafe. Da -da -da. I forgot my purse even. Came back. Went back again, waited for my food. Explain to me why. By the time I came back, no one was in that studio anymore. Like all the people waiting were not there anymore. It's like, huh? I thought it was my my I thought it was me. As in I went to the wrong place. So I went back again. I reached, I retraced my steps. I'm calling my mom, calling her, calling, calling her. Why is she not picking up? Anyway, so she finally gets hold of me. She tells me she's around the corner, like the auditions are actually around the corner. That was just somewhere to wait. La la la. Okay, cool. Say nothing. I was happy now. So I remember we were just sitting there, vibes and chilling, whatever. I had my phone, I had music. My phone was dying. I hadn't prepared for it to take this long. I prepared for it to be like a quick bim bam thing. Not realizing that it actually takes a long time to do. Three o'clock, I feel like it was, that they called my name. Obviously, my mum couldn't come downstairs, and I wasn't a hundred percent. I just still, I don't know why I'm so stupid. Like I wasn't a hundred percent sure why I was there. Went downstairs and they're like, "Hi, Emma." I'm like, "Hi." So I'm standing there. They're asking me about myself. I'm telling them. They're like, "So when did you um realize you had 
your hair was different I'm explaining to them and obviously i'm just talking about like my experience with natural hair because i've been natural my whole life as i said in previous videos i've never done anything with my hair apart from my curls like my curls are my thing like i love my afro so i'm explaining to them how i feel towards it how i felt towards my hair duh, 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 duh. and the whole time they're proper grinning teeth i'm like okay are you feeling me but i'm also quite shy in certain situations so at this point i'm thinking do they like me? Do they not like me? Like, are they just smiling to be nice? I'm freaking out in my head. I'm very, in, I'm very in my head in these situations. And I go upstairs, I feel like I want to cry. Like, I was so nervous, I wanted to cry. Run forward. I decided to have a nap. I didn't believe I was going to get it because I thought, why would they want a girl like me? Like, what's so special about Amma? So I went, I laid on my mum's lap and I went to sleep. And they said, so now we're going to announce the winners. Um... Okay, so Amma was still sleeping. Amma still was half hearted sleeping. Like, I heard what they said and I decided, okay, hon, I'm going back to sleep. I hear Amma in, in Kruma. I'm like, huh? I'm like, nah. So, anyway, I didn't think it was me. My mum goes, my mum like shakes me. My mum's friend shakes me. He said, Amma, is you, is you, is you, is you. I'm like, huh? Okay, then. Exactly. Anyway, they take us downstairs with my mom to come and take pictures with the box Cantu was sponsoring the um campaign so we got we all got like Cantu boxes um the 18th of april was the photo shoot day so basically for that we had to um have we had to have our hair like natural with no parts in it. So like just wash, just wash curly hair. So I came in with my doo doo plaits fam. Doo doo plaits washed bam. If I could find this shoot was in barking. Barking as in I might link my ting from barking. Seven AM in the morning. Yeah, they're they're barking. I was going there. I live in West London, as in I live, you see the district line, Barking is on this side of the district line, I live on the other side, I got to Barking, I was confused, because Barking, I don't know, for me, East London is a different country to me, like everything looks different, it looks like I'm in a different part of the world, but anyway, we managed to find it in the end, I walk in, and I'm so nervous, I didn't know what I was doing, I'd never modelled before, I didn't deem myself pretty enough, to do this especially when i saw the other people who were there there was like there was a couple of girls where i was like oh my god they're so pretty i didn't feel like i was good enough for them but anyway i get there and the first thing they do is put me in the makeup chair and the makeup artist was amazing was amazing like she sat me down she made me feel really comfortable in the chair did my makeup even she told me what eyelash to wear before then i never wore eyelashes it was that day I learned how to put eyelashes on. She did my makeup. Then I went to the hairstylist, um, Vivi, Vivi Jo. She made me not feel pain. I didn't feel pain. Blow dried my hair and everything. As in, my hair my hair was like detangled, but it hadn't been blow dried. And when I said to you, I felt good. I felt fine. I, snapped, I even snapped while doing it. That's how you know I was okay. Did my hair. When I said to her, I felt her doing it. And I was like, oh, what's she doing? Oh, that's really cute. Like, she's doing braids. I'm thinking, ooh, what's going on? I saw my hair and I was so shocked. I loved it. I thought my hair was so cute. I so anyway, we get into it. They say, okay, Amma, you're up first. Do the test shots. So I put on my little green. So I had like a green top and bottom. I wore it for my 18th birthday in the end. They're doing the lighting, I'm holding a thing, I'm like, ooh, okay. And they were, they had music going, they made me feel good. I was just enjoying my day, calm. So then they said change, we did different things. But then they were like, okay, cool, we want to go with a different vibe. They were like, I need fierce, Amma. I was like, fierce? Like, Amma, I need fierce. I'm like, hmm, how do I do it fierce? So I remember I was just like doing, working with my face, working out, working out, working out. We got the look. Then I like group shot, so we did the shot and it came out really cute. When I saw the shots, I was like, oh my god, like I feel beautiful. Like on the 28th of April, I had to write a statement to go with my picture. My statement was all about how 
my experience of natural hair and my experience of the people around me and how important I felt this was. I feel like you see a lot of adults at the time with natural hair loving their natural skin, all this, but my age, I never saw someone my age who genuinely loved themselves. And I feel like that's still quite relevant up to this day. Like, I don't see a lot of people who, you see a lot of adults at the time with natural hair loving their natural skin, all this, but my age, I never saw someone my age who genuinely loved themselves. And I feel like that's still quite relevant up to this day. On the 27th of May, I revealed my photo. And that was a very nerve wracking experience because no one would have expected it from me that I would do it. So I remember like revealing on my Instagram that I'd done this. And yeah, like the feedback from it was amazing. Like I was, I'd, at that point, like, I think at that point I dropped it and I was like, oh, good, okay, would anyone like it? Then I started to see the hashtags. Oh, the hashtag, I don't see the hashtag. And I was spotted in like Manchester, Leeds. Like people, people see me on like bus stops. And I was like, huh? Me, little old me on a bus stop. Like that, I never thought that would be me. I never thought I'd see myself. I knew it was going to be a billboard and be advertised. But I never thought it was going to be that deep until I got sent the brief. I got sent a brief that basically said where your photos will be showing, who's on what billboard. I saw two, as in Hammersmith and like, if you know where Wormwood Scrubs is. So I was like, those two areas are quite near to me, but I'm working and going to college. I'm not going to be able to see it myself. Ah, not, I didn't expect it. I saw the one I was going to be in Wormwood Scrubs. Yes, yeah, I saw it on the, the brief. So imagine, I said to my nan, oh yeah, nan, that's what I'm going to be showing. My nan took my little cousins there to watch me come and I have a picture. At that point, I was so shocked. Like, I was like, oh my God, like, little old me, as in Amma is on a billboard, her face. Then I remember I was going to work one day, bopping. I know there's a clear blue, clear view um, billboard. I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'll see somebody so I can send them the picture that they're in Hammersmith. Huh? I saw, I saw myself. I remember I stood there and I nearly cried. Hey, yamma. I was not, I wasn't, I didn't know how to feel because I thought, okay, calm down there. Like in other areas, I was like, okay, cool. I'm not going to get there. But seeing it face to face and me standing in front of the billboard in Hammersmith flyover, I was so shocked. Like I couldn't believe it. And I just wanted to like scream, shout and be like, oh my God, that's me. That campaign was the first moment in my life where socially I felt loved. As in, I felt like I was beautiful. I felt like I was more than just an ugly black girl in school because that was just what I was understood to be. I only understood myself as being ugly black girl who was not cute, never gonna be pretty enough for anyone to think she's cute. I always thought to myself, yeah, my mum will call me pretty, my granny will call me pretty. Like all the girls around me would be like, oh my God, I'm mean, so beautiful, you got a nice body, da, da, da. But I saw myself as an ugly black girl who was fat. I, I told the story only because I'm like, first of all, people don't know why I did it or how I did it or what the reason for me doing this, why I was on a billboard. No one knows it really. And also I wanted to let people know that, do you know what? No matter how old you are, no matter where you come from in life, you are beautiful. I want to make sure that people don't have to do these sort of things to feel beautiful and that they just find it within themselves. But I just want to say, yeah, for me, I had to, I had to do things, put myself out there to finally feel accepted. But I don't want it to be like that for everyone. I want people to just start believing it within themselves that you're beautiful, boo. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed my story time. I hope you enjoyed hearing how I became a billboard model for a second and i hope you like comment and subscribe and share it comment below anything if you want to ask any more questions about it ask questions if i've missed anything tell me amma you've missed something sis key moment how what how where who just talk to me and yeah thank you for watching ciao